Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on C programming. In today's topic, I shall discuss the use of void which we are using in the main function. Also, I shall discuss if we are using int for the main function. The return value for the main is void here. The return value for the main is int here. So normally suppose if two programs, if I am writing two simple programs, let me just write down for void main, I am just writing one simple printf statement. In that, I am just mentioning hello world. Definitely, if I am using printf, I need to make use of what? The standard input output library. The header file is stdio.h. Now, in this program, I have just written one simple statement printf hello world. So, you will be getting the output as hello world. Now, suppose I am writing one more program wherein I am using what the return type as int and I am including the same statement here like printf hello world. Now since the return type used here is int fine. So what I need to do is I have to return a value and we are using what 0 here as the return value to the main function. So why we are using 0? 0 indicates always the successful execution of the program. Even in this program let me include the header file. So, if you observe these two programs, what is the difference? Here the return type is void always indicates what? Null. Null is nothing. But here in this case the return type is int. So, this function is expecting a return value. The return value is 0. 0 always indicates successful execution of the program. So, what do you mean by successful execution of the program? See, in a computer, the bottommost layer is the hardware part. On the top of this is your operating system. And the topmost layer will be your application program. Now, whatever C program I, have, I am writing here, this program is an application program. Not only C, any program you take, it is the application program. So, the application program cannot directly interact with the hardware. The application program gets the resources through the operating system. It is the operating system that is managing the resources for any application program. The operating system should come to know from the application program that the program or the application is successfully getting executed. Why this is required? Resources normally for any program, even if you take this simple program, you require what main memory, you require the hard disk, then you require the processor. Now these resources are managed by the operating system. So for your application, the operating system has what has allocated these resources. When you are including return 0 to the main program, the main is sending what the information to the operating system that the program is successfully executed and you can deallocate the resources because these resources can be once again allocated to other application programs. And this return 0, 0 is an integer number here. And what exactly happens is in the operating system for that application, there is one variable called as exit status. So, this exit status will always hold the value that is returned by that particular application. If return 0, then the exit status value will be what? 0. If there is an error in the application, that means your program is not completely executed, then the exit status will be what? A non-zero value. Either it can be 1, minus 1 or any other number. So, if any point of time, if the value that is stored in the exit status is a non-zero value, then the operating system will make those resources still allocated to that application. Once the application is successfully executed without any errors, the exit status becomes 0. Compiler by default is also taking what the value 0 only as the return value if explicitly not mentioned by the user. Once return 0 is mentioned, okay, this will be the last statement in the program. So, the compiler is not going to consider any statements that are written here. For example, once I write return 0, I am including one more statement, welcome. So, what will happen if I write like this in the output, hello world, fine. So after this, there is one more printf statement, welcome, that will not get printed. So, the program stops here only, whatever statements are written above return 0, only those statements will get executed and you will be getting the output. It is not considering this printf at all. In case if you want to print this welcome also, then what is that you have to do? You should write this statement return 0 after the second printf statement. So, let me do that. What I have done is I have written the statement return 0 after these two printf statements. The output will be, it will print both the statements. This is why we use return 0 in the program. For return 0, I can give an analogy like this. If you have borrowed something from 
your friend or from someone then you want to return it back same way here return zero is an indication to the operating system from the application program once the resources are returned that can be allocated to other application programs hope you got now the purpose of using the return statement in the program let me demonstrate whatever i have explained now for the void int and return zero so in, in this program i'm just writing void main and one printf statement hello world so let me execute this so i'll just run this program i'm getting the output as hello world this is what we are expecting now we'll try to make use of return zero in the program so return zero if you are making use that means the return type is what for the main program it is int now i'll include the statement return zero let me run the program you are getting the output as hello world now as i said after return zero if you are writing any other statements in the printf those statements or not only printf whatever computational statements also if you write the program the compiler is not going to consider those statements let me include one more statement here after return zero i'll write down printf let us see what will happen now so i'll execute this program now what is that you are observing only the first printf statement is getting printed here hello world this one then the next you are writing return zero so return zero always indicates that the program is successfully completed though you have written one more statement here after return zero that is not getting displayed that means that is not getting executed the compiler will not consider any statements that are mentioned after the return zero now what we will do is we'll change this position for the return zero we'll once again put at the end and see what will happen right so now let us see what will happen because we have included now return zero as the last statement in the program so let me execute this now you can see here hello world is printed and even the next printf statement is also getting displayed so this is the use of return zero in the program hope this information is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care